Hi everyone, so today I will show you how you can download 3D models from Sketchfab directly into Blender. I've previously made a video that's for Blender versions uh, that were released before the version 4.0. So today I'll show you the Sketchfab plugin for Blender version 4.0. So first let's go to the website where we can download the Sketchfab plugin. So this is a website where you can download the Sketchfab for Blender plugin. It's version 1.61. As you can see this plugin was tested for Blender version 3.5 and 4.0. Last time I made a tutorial Sketchfab plugin for Blender. Those that tutorial was for Blender version that were uh, before the 4.0. So this one is for Blender version 4.0. So uh, there's no guarantee whether it works uh, above that, like 4.1, 4.0, I don't know about that. But for Blender version 4.3, I tested it and uh, didn't work. So I recommend using the Blender version 4.0 for this tutorial. So. To download the plugin, scroll down and then click on this zip file and then you can uh, download it on your computer and then then we can proceed to the blender to add it as an add-on. Okay now so we have our blender opened. So let's press N. Uh, so I already have a Sketchfab plugin so I'll to show you the steps, I will uninstall it and then install it again. So go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install. So before that, let me remove the Sketchfab. Remove now, as you can see, it's gone. So Edit, Preferences, Add-on, Install. Alright, so the Sketchfab plugin 1.6 version, select it and then install. And then you have to check this box. Now it appears on this one. Click on it. Then you need to activate it, which which means uh, yeah, before you do this, you need to have an account on Sketchfab, like on the website, on the Sketchfab website. That's the first thing. So that's the sign in information that you can use to sign in to sign here so in my case I, i've already signed but if not it will ask you to input your email address and then password just the same way you use for sketchfab websites and then once you are logged in you can search anything you want for instance i'll uh, I'll search for house and then it will give you this option if you click on it it will open up various options you can go to the next page and then check what's available so let me select this one and then here you have extra information about it and the size click on it to import the model and now it's importing okay we have to zoom out so we have to adjust the view let's say let's increase this one to 10,000 see and we are in the shading view Let's go to the viewport shading so we can see the material. Yeah, looks good. Okay, maybe I'll make this one meter. Yeah, there was some clipping. Now it's tidy. Nice. 
yeah so this is a way you can uh, import the model if in some cases you don't see the model uh, some some kind of issue just click on the on the right side the model imported and then if you press the period key on your keyboard it will zoom zoom you to the to the model this was the original box we don't need this one so i'll zoom out and then like this so this is for blender version 4.0 uh, there is no guarantee it will work above that i've tried i've tested it for for blender 4.3 it didn't work so yeah so this is for uh, blender version 4.0 so let me know you have, if you have any questions or if you faced any difficulties in the comment section and i'll do my best to help you out thank you for watching and i'll see you next time with another tutorial. Take care.